I just got to tell you guys, I think that this is going to be a big project, but it could be a lot of fun too. I am going to try to fix up, look at this. Look at those drywall busted up. The ceiling's missing. Horrible green color. Some sort of awkward texture. We got an outside door on the inside of the building. This half of the building, it's all just still raw, undone. We do have some insulation in. That's nice. And some electrical ran. But other than that, this place is pretty much a disaster. It stinks a little bit right now. It is, in fact, a storage shed. Yeah. Or, well, not really. It's like a split cabin, kind of. It's 12 foot wide, but I think 35 feet long. I found it at a local store. They had repossessed it from somebody, and it was for sale as a repo. So I got it and said, maybe we can turn this into a really cool tiny home and do a little series on it. So if y'all are new to my channel, normally we are gasoline, my campground and things. This is a little bit different. I'm gonna do a whole build series from this stage here where I got this trailer as a repo to completed cabin. And it's gonna be a cool cabin, let me tell you why. Those guys right there, there you are Johnny. And those sheep over there for that matter. We're gonna take this cabin and we're gonna build it right in the middle of our petting zoo. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jenny? That's right, it's going to be a petting zoo cabin, and when we're gonna put back doors on it and a little back deck that'll sit you out in the middle of this petting zoo where you can hang out with the animals. I really think it's going to be a unique experience, man. I've never heard of a cabin that you could spend the night in that's in a petting zoo. It has a back porch that you could sit on all night and all morning with your coffee and sit and feed the animals. If you guys got some ideas of how this could be even cooler, let me know down in the comments below. So I guess what we gotta do next is do some measuring. Hey, y'all. Got a piece of paper? Thank you. So here's a basic look of what I'm thinking for the cabin. Right here will be double stacked bunks, so that'll sleep two in like some twins or fulls. This will be a queen back in here. We might do a pull out couch right here. And then right here will be the double opening doors, all glass, and that'll go back out to the deck, which will be inside the fencing of our zoo. With this big wide glass door here, it'll be beautiful. Now, to me, this looks like a place I'd wanna stay, but for a builder, that's a pretty tough plan to follow. So I went to my boy Ken and asked him if he'd draw up something similar to this. Let's see how we did compared to each other. All right guys, so if you don't know, this is Ken. He's been in a couple of our videos. He's been taking care of a lot of the petting zoo stuff. Also, you've been doing some pretty impressive building around here. Thank you. He built a new petting zoo play area where kids can go out and play with the animals. Uh, we're not done landscaping it yet. I haven't got furniture for it yet, but it's, it'll be done soon. So I asked him to draw up a real drawing that we might be able to follow. And I just want to kind of compare what you did to what I did. See what I got here? All right, here we go. <laughs> well, your drawing is uh, much more precise than mine. We actually have placements of toilets and we have uh, porches that I just failed to even acknowledge. Well, y'all see, he's got sophisticated actual drafting paper and like a whole organized operation. I have a piece of paper I stole from behind my office counter and a Sharpie. This is the difference between Ken and I. And that is why it's important to take care of your team and build the right team. We did a video just the other day about our family here at the Cribber. If y'all wanna check it out, click that link up above. So I do like to build. I'm just always not that good at it. It's more of a hobby or a pastime. When I'm out on the road, sometimes I just like to get home and get my hands dirty building something. For example, I built this deck that we have here at the K River out of the clubhouse. But again, it was a, it was a joint effort. You know, Daryl cut those doors in for me. I had a couple guys helping me pour the concrete and put down deck boards and stuff like that. But I designed it and built it for the most part. Had my hands on. I was here before and after everybody else every day. Matt, for example, built these chairs. I absolutely love these chairs. Steel, sturdy, rustic. 
They fit with the feel of the Cave River Campground. With the addition of these chairs, this deck is a wonderful place to hang out, and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun on the Stubborn American. You're gonna have this grill going, and steaks and dogs, and you're gonna have spreads out here, probably a lot of spreads of alcohol. This table has seen some alcohol. <laughs> the lights will be on up in the tree. The Mr. Fans will be blowing, and people will be chilling out. This deck truly has become exactly what I was hoping it would be. Just a great place to hang out here at the river. Even fit with a rocking chair front porch. What's up, Matt? Hey. I got a question for you, man. Yep. So you know how I was talking about that zoo cabin I wanted to build? Right. Can I steal Chucky from you for like five days? They do not have to be consecutive. It just has to be like five days over 10 days or 11 days. See, Matt runs the maintenance team, so I have to ask permission and hope he likes me enough. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Yeah. Yeah, I can have him? All right, thanks, so. Yeah. We're gonna have Chucky in the video. If y'all don't know Chuck, he's a lot of fun. He's an amazing guy. You could have seen him in a couple of my, my videos in the past. I think he's gonna make this whole video series just that much better. Here's another project I did on one crazy night, I wanted to create a stage that overlooks, see it back there, the river? Yeah, so people could be watching it and see the river in the background and people floating out in the river could be like backstage. But I wanted to feel like it just came up out of the ground. I wanted it to be old and rustic-y. And so this is what we came up with. And it's another one of those projects that I just like, got up early and worked crazy late at night and just cleared my head as I built. My friends at Professional Metalworks made this great awning for me system. And Daryl just did these beautiful set of stairs. I guess my point is we like to build unique things around here and cool things. We like it to be an experience, like this tree house. A lot of you have seen this tree house before. We've had it in many of our videos, but using real cedar logs with lanterns in them and you know all that siding up there coming off of our property and it just overlooking that river is definitely one of the cabins I'm most proud of that we've built. And I had my hand in probably 35%, 40% of that build. Here's another tree house we built, our most recent one. And with all those windows on the side, it's a pretty nice view. Inside this one is kind of white and shiplap and really beautiful kind of country style bedding. Uh, very lush style. And these tents are some of my favorite things too because, well, when the AC's rolling and it's actually a nice temperature in here, you got real bedding, cow skin rugs, old bull horns on the wall. Let's turn the chandelier on. Look at that thing. It's just old school cool. I got it at an old uh, roadside antique store. This may be my favorite part of this room. <laughs> Look at these. How cool are they? I've never had a shot out of these. I wonder if any of my guests have. They're there if they need them. All in all, I really love these glamping tents. I think they're really cool. Addition. So we've got kind of, I mean, we're not uh, Taj Mahal Lodge. We're more rustic country. You're still camping, but it's rustic and it's still nice. So one of the things I love most about this YouTube channel and what we get to do on here is the fact that I get to let you all be involved. So I'm gonna wait a couple days before I go get any supplies or make any final decisions on this zoo cabin, uh, tiny home, whatever you wanna call it. In fact, tell me in the comments below, what should we call it? Is it a zoo cabin? Is it a zoo tiny home? What is it? And any cool ideas you have for any cabins or any inspiration we should see, send me a link down in the comments below and let me know. We'll do probably one or two days a week, maybe three days a week, trying to get this thing built before the Stubborn American Party. And we got a lot of projects going on between now and then. We've got an entire crew hired. Well, let's show you one last building. This is our disabled veterans cabin. And we've started remodeling it and we brought a couple different crews in and we haven't been able to get one to get it just right yet. I've even taken my hand at it and there's just a lot of variables going on in this thing that I don't feel comfortable with. So the good news is we have been able to hire a full crew, a professional crew, to come in and completely remodel this thing start to finish and they start next week too. We hope to by the time the Stubborn American Party comes on to have a full covered deck made with big cedar logs and beams get this outside finish and start the drywall and flooring on the inside. This is a passion you all should know about mine and that's our military. At the Cave River Campground, we've got probably the best acre of our land dedicated to veterans, 100% free, seven days a week. It includes a cabin, two RV spots, and like 20 or 30 tent spots. And now we're doing this disabled cabin too that's also gonna be 100% free to any disabled veteran anytime they want. It's gonna be an awesome cabin. 
and that's another project that's starting. So while we're building this tiny home, I'll update with the pros over here on the big project. That's it. Leave me all your comments and advice down below. I want to hear it. I want to know. This is my first time doing a build series video. I hope you all enjoy it. If not, don't worry. There'll be plenty of motorcycle and other content in my life littered all in between. This project here, I expect to take less than 10 days. But to do it, I'm gonna have to stay stubborn, just like all of you. We'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Five a week coming at you every week.